Hey you guys, are you guys trying to figure out how to use if statements or what the heck if statements are uh, in BigCommerce? You're in luck. In this video, I'm going to show you guys. And before we get started, my name is Cal. I'm a developer, a store owner, and I run the e-commerce growth community for store owners just like you. I'll have a link at the end. And you know, each week I post more videos about e-commerce. So if you find this one helpful, subscribe and hit the bell and you can see more. Okay, I'm going to share my screen and we're going to talk about if statements on big commerce so first of all in this storefront i have a theme um, to customize a theme you do have to customize a copy so if you're working on a, uh, an original theme click make a copy make that active and then click edit theme files to get into the stencil editor now if statements are the basis of programming so you know it you can be very basic you can be very advanced depending on what you want you can have nested if statements i'm just going to show you guys the basics about how it works and how the syntax is on big commerce so to do this uh, demo we're going to go into my theme we're going to go to templates components common and then header just to give us a place to show off some if statement goodies now <clears throat> What an if statement is, is it says, if this is true, then do this thing. And you can also say, or else do this other thing. And the way that this works in stencil code is you say curly bracket, curly bracket, pound, if uh, this is true. And then we're going to close that off. And then we're going to put a slash if at the end of it. So the pound if opens the statement, the slash if closes it. And so anything um, anything that's in the middle is only going to happen if this one condition is true. And we can let's let's just do that first. So let's uh, we're going to say we're going to say here on this store that if the uh, if the title of the category is apparel, then execute the code, right? And so let's just say here, um, category name, category name. Yeah, okay. So if category name, go back to my code. If the category name equals oops, apparel, then we're going to say this is the apparel category. We're just going to put that onto the page right below the header in a paragraph tag. Give it a second to update or a couple seconds. We're going to refresh the front end and you can see that it does, it did output our sentence here that this is the apparel category. And if we click over to a different page like campsite, because the, the title of this page isn't campsite, then it doesn't show that. So it only shows that if we have uh correctly identified the, the apparel category. Now going back to our if statement, there's one other thing that you can do is you can put an else in here. So we can say, oops, fat fingered it. So curly bracket, curly bracket, else, curly bracket, curly bracket, else this is not the apparel category. Right, so if it is apparel, then it's gonna say this, and if it's not, then we're gonna say this. All right, go back to the front end. So it still says this is the apparel category here on 
the apparel category and on something else it says this is not the apparel category now we can you know i'm obviously just targeting one thing by saying if this is apparel then do this but you could also say like if the page type is category then say this thing and then that would basically execute on anything that matches the category template so that would be all of the categories but not the product pages not the home page whatnot um, you can you know one thing that we do a lot is on product pages we say if there is a custom field that is this then do this other thing and so you can see like you know once you get the basics of the if statement you know it's um, you know it's it's very it's very broad what you can do um, and this is, you know, the basic uh, category structure. So if blank is true, this right here, then do this, else do that. And that's about it. So, you know, that's the basics. My, you know, my goal here was just to show you guys the basics. Um, you know, I'll do lots of other videos showing you very specific things that you can do with this. But, um, you know, you got to start somewhere. And so if you guys are just getting started in big commerce, this is pretty, pretty nifty to use. So pound if, you know, blank is true, else do this other thing. Uh, and that's about it. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. Um, be sure to join our community at joinecommercegrowth.com. If you guys need a developer, come to us at Epic Design Labs. There's so much stuff that we can do. Literally just scratching the surface with if statements is the basic building block uh, of of programming and man it's it's crazy all the stuff that we can do with it um be sure to give me a comment let me know what you guys are going to do let me know what you guys are stuck on so you know every week i want to make more videos for you guys and you know just help you guys more and more get farther with big commerce so let me know what you guys are stuck on maybe that'll be my next video thanks so much and i'll see you next time